Osho. Kind of a cloudy t uh, day today. And uh, right now I'm not real certain what time it is. I'm reckoning it's right now it's somewhere after 12. Some, somewhere. I got so much for me trying to guess. <laughs> but anyway, I was just thinking, you know. I was uh, just looking out at all the trees and stuff, and I was getting to think, man, how I miss being out in the woods, you know. And, well, I mean, I live out in the woods, but I mean being out in the woods, out in the mountains, you know. To I, I miss that a whole lot. Desire it like you wouldn't believe. You see, people get scared of the woods there's nothing to be afraid of oh yeah like everywhere else you have your little dangers even in the city actually you got worse dangers in the city <laughs> than you do out in the woods okay here's the thing about in the woods things you watch out for well of course let's start out with the small things build our way up spiders I ain't nothing I mean you if you know about spiders, you you know you can pretty much deal with it. When you build a shelter, just smoke the things out, you know. And if you got a tent, well, as long as you're making sure your flaps closed and everything, you ain't got much to worry about. And make sure you don't keep your uh, uh, boots and shoes out at you know at night or just sitting there for or even over two minutes, uh, just sitting there outside because it just takes just a few minutes or less actually seconds for a, a spider to crawl in there uh, but anyway now these are all minor things you even get them in your house okay and the only thing is about the ones in your house most of the time you don't see them every once in a while you might see one or something but they're there okay and you know about the the dangerous ones I mean generally the, the two biggest concerns here in America on spiders, unless you're allergic to any kind of insects, well, I'll just say like this, the, uh, the ones that you got to be most concerned about is generally your black widows and your recluse. That's it. You got books and stuff. You're not sure exactly what a recluse looks like. And so I want to point out to something that it's probably one of those tunnel spiders or the or what they call a wolf spider or something else. Say that's a recluse. No, just get you a book, simple, or just look it up online and you can find it easy. Okay, that's your on the bugs. All right, uh, like spiders. All right, then you got ticks. Well, everyone knows you, you get ticks, fleas anywhere just about. So, and you know. Generally, you want to make sure you get the ticks off and all this, and you can get books and stuff. You're not sure how to do that. Well, they tell you how to do that online and stuff. You can print you out some copies of that. But okay, so you got that little problem out of the way. Okay, and let's see. Okay, uh, then you you got skunks. Generally, you stay away from skunks. Best deal. <laughs> You know, or you can always experiment and see if they really do spray, and then uh, then you got a hard lesson on learning how to get the smell off. <laughs> okay, uh, I mean you know stay away from those. All right, and then let's see uh, uh, bears, uh, depending on where you're at and stuff. You know, generally uh, you try to avoid bears, but there might be a time when you got to make a confront where there will be a confrontation. Well, now I can tell you, read everything you can about bears and you're facing bears. That's the only thing I can suggest to you. Because each person, when they face a bear, generally, uh, you know, it's a hunter who st stumbles on them or a hiker that stumbles across a, a, a mother, a, a bear with her cubs. And that's usually not a cool thing to do. <laughs> okay, you want to try to avoid that, and you want, and, and the best way to avoid it is make noise. When you're out in the woods where you know that there's bears, the best thing to do is to make noise. Okay, that's it's kind of like, hey bear, I'm here. I'm just moseying on through, and 
And Mr. or Mrs. Bear goes, okay, come on, babies, let's go. Well, anyway. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, wolves, unless the unless any animals got rabies, it really, with wolves, you ain't got to worry about them. Uh, a lot of people overrate, you know, they just, listen, you're watching too many movies. Wolves are, are you know, they, they're not going to bother you unless you go bother them. And, and then if you, and that's when you back them up, you know, and, uh, or you try to steal their dinner. So I wouldn't steal their dinner. Oh, shit. But generally, uh, but the thing is, I mean, people go get so paranoid about those things. I don't want to go out there and stuff. Uh, you got to think about it. What do you want to face? Do you want to face a thug or a government person and throw you in prison where there is no freedom or would you want to be out free out in the woods in the mountains and then you find others and stuff where you can share the sweet good news of Yeshua and and praise him and pray to him, the Lord and and, and 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 still do the works of Yeshua and wait for his return or you can what Okay? Now, just because, you know, things are going bad doesn't mean that you quit working for the Lord. Mm -mm, mm, no, 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 no. And there's always plenty to do. Plenty of work. See, a lot of people think when you're out, out in the woods, there is no work. Oh, yeah, there is. I want to tell you about all the work. And you you got to gather the wood for fire. That's... You think that's just real easy? You think it's just for one day? Uh-uh. It's for, you know, you got to do it for the cook every day to cook. All right, then you got to have for the night, you know, trying to stay warm when it's cold. And so you got to keep the coals going. You don't want to have to start the fire every day. Okay, you want to keep some kind of hot coals. Okay. Then you got to have, you know, hunt, get the water. That means to carry the water, and find the water, carry the water and you know purify the water and things like that okay and then there's a matter on hunting the food you know okay then there is the the finding of the material that you need for your shelter and maintaining your shelter and things and this is a constant everyday thing now your pay is the enjoyment of doing this and when and trust me, you know, you think it's, you know, it's all right. Oh, man, that's, I don't know if I could handle it. No, you would enjoy it. It keeps you busy. And especially if you've got kids, it keeps them busy. Keeps them out of trouble. And ain't much they can trouble. A, a whole, it's not really a whole lot of trouble kids can get into out in the woods. But I suppose if their imagination gets to run away too much, I suppose it could. But, but see, the thing is, people blow things up way out of proportion I mean the woods the mountains the hills are, are not your enemy it's your friend God put them there there was people that's lived out in the woods and mountains for years and stuff and they did just fine and you will too so I say I've been thinking about I've been really seriously thinking about maybe just putting enough money back so I can uh, put in a car and just load it up and head out to the mountains. Oh, yeah, and there's all kind. You can get books on wild medicines and herbs and stuff. You know, you think about well, medicines. Well, just look at. It. I mean, they got all kinds of uh, wild uh, herbs and things. It's just great. You know, you gather it during the spring and summer, and you dry it out and stuff. And you keep it and you, and you uh, store it. And you see, you have this, and you do this, this also will last you for all the uh, year, okay? So, uh, I, that's my few cents on uh, out in the wilderness and everything, so um, maybe it was helpful. All right, hey, God bless you. Shalom. Ahoo.